All right. So not everyone is in agreement with the conclusions that Rachel's com Rachel's comes to. For instance, Judith Thompson, who we've previously read uh, her views on abortion, um, takes objection to Rachel's conclusions. All right. Thompson thinks that Rachel's um, the Smith Jones argument, the the bathtub, is a is a is a bad one. She says. It is no better than the following one that proves that cutting off someone's head is no worse than punching someone. So she provides in her rebuttal two cases. In the first case is the, the decapitation case, uh, where person A knows that she that if she cuts off in this cat in this case Ned Stark's head, he will die, and wanting him to die cuts off his head. So that's decapitation. Um, person B notes that if she punches, uh, we'll just say Bert here, if she punches Bert in the nose, he will die because Bert has a peculiar physical condition and wanting him to die, she punches him in the nose. What, what person A does is just as wrong as what person B does. Right? In case A, person A cuts off the head. In case B, person B punches dude in the nose knowing it will kill him. So, have we proved that there is no moral difference between cutting off someone's head and punching someone in the nose? No, not at all. Thompson says, at best, all we have shown is that decapitating someone can be as bad as punching someone in the nose. Um, so we're not looking at uh, the separation of, of harm here. They can be, in specific um, moments, equally as bad as each other. But obviously, in many, maybe even nearly all cases, the former, cutting off someone's head, is, is going to be much, much worse than punching someone in the nose, right? So just in this case, because Bert has this pe uh, peculiar physical deformity which results in his, in his death, that does not mean that universally all people who are punched in the nose will die. And therefore, it's hard to make a equivalence here that cutting off someone's head is as bad as punching someone in the nose because both people in this case died. Similarly, though Rachel's Smith and Jones story, the bathtub cases, show that allowing harm is sometimes just as wrong as doing harm, this does not entail that they are always equivalent. Perhaps doing harm is still usually much worse morally than allowing harm. You know, it might be helpful at this point to go back and think about that crowded cliff story. 